foxes, welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before and you found yourself on my channel, welcome. My name is Kristen Leanne and I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber. So everything that you see on my channel is 100% cruelty-free and does not hurt any animals. I'm really excited for today's video and to film this with you guys and kind of like explore this new product with you from Too Faced. So with that being said, I have partnered with Too Faced to bring you this video. I'm going to be reviewing and swatching all of their brand new melted latex high shine liquid lipsticks. So there is 16 in total as of now. They are gluten free, um, formulated without parabens, and they are all vegan friendly, which is pretty rad. So we're gonna go through all of these and kind of do a review on them. They've got some kind of a secret way to liquefy their high, highly pigmented lipstick and keep it in a liquid form on your lips and give it that amazing high shine. So I'm really like excited to play with these. The color range looks really badass and just like super unique, you know? I'm excited to hear what you guys think. So um, before we get started though, definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified when I I upload new videos because you know you want to be first don't listen to these people ricky you're a winner you've got the gift always remember if you ain't first you're last this comes in the same packaging as their melted matte liquid lipstick which i really like i don't know why like it's just really comfortable to hold this so i'm really into that um, it has a doe foot applicator as well and uh, with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into the swatching for starters, we're gonna start off with this one. I love this packaging. I think it's like really cool looking since it's completely see-through. This one is Girl on Top. I like the name too. I was excited when this was with the lineup because I always find myself needing like a really nice clear lip gloss and every single clear lip gloss that I have feels like goopy and like sticky and like I swear when I'm like, it reminds me of like the fudge guy or whatever from Fern Gully where his like, that makes the teeth like where his like slime is like, that's what it feels like, okay? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Who's seen Fern Gully? I know you have. Born in 1988. This feels really nice on my lips. This does not feel sticky. It feels just really light, moisturizing, and just like super high shine. We're gonna step into the browns for a minute and I'm going to try Strange Love. It looks like this is kind of like a nice, cool toned kind of brown. Woo! These are definitely very shiny. The shade is really, really cool. I'm gonna be real for a minute though. The shade is really making me want some Nutella. What are you trying to do to me, Too Faced? This one is a very bright, like Barbie pink. This is, but first, lipstick. I have very high hopes for this shade. This is really cool. Whoa, Lord, this color is very bright. I love it, it matches. It's almost, it's brighter even than my earrings. It's brighter than my damn future, if I'm honest. It is so pretty. So far, none of these are staining my lips. Like typically, like a bright pink stains my lips since this is like a melted down like lipstick, but no staining, I'm really impressed. Let's go for another bold shade. This is I'm Bossy. I feel like when you wear this, you could be bossy because it's just so loud and such a great shade. Oh my gosh, this red is so pretty. I'm kind of obsessed with this. Ooh. Come on lips, you're gonna make it through, I promise. Just a few more. Next, we're gonna do Hot Mess. This one is a really pretty, like kind of like florally, mauve pink. I really like this one. safe to say that I'm completely obsessed with this shade. Like I knew I was gonna like it, but this like, I don't think I've ever worn a shade like this before. I feel like it matches everything that's going on right here really well. It's gorgeous. Let's go back to the browns. We've got Bite Me. This shade is so badass. 
I'm gonna kind of speed through a few of these too, just because, I mean, unless I have like any notes or whatever, but it will take so long to get through all these if I don't speed it up. Y'all thank me later. Next up, we have this really pretty, like kind of a pale pinkish, uh, the name is Love You, mean it. This shade ain't here for me right now, but it's definitely bright, it's definitely pigmented, so if this is a shade that you typically wear, I think you're gonna love it. Another really pretty nude that we have here, um, this is Peekaboo, and this is a little more on, where's the other one? This one's a little more on the pink side compared to Hopeless Romantic, if you can see those together. I am obsessed with this shade. <gasps> I love it. I feel like I could wear this with absolutely anything and feel amazing in it. Next up we have Hopeless Romantic. This is a really beautiful nude shade. This is so pretty. It's so opaque. It's so pigmented. I absolutely love this. I had to do this lavender next. This is Twilight Zone. You guys know Twilight Zone is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. I wouldn't typically pair this shade with the eye look that I have going on right now, but really impressed with the pigmentation on this and it's so opaque. I love this. It kind of reminds me of the Snapchat filter with like that made your head all like big and like little lips. You guys remember that? I absolutely love this. This is so cool. Next we have Can't Touch This. Once you get it, you get it. Like this is really pretty. It's like so shiny, so dark, so deep. I feel like a vampire. We have a really nice pink up next. This is Love You Long Time. It looks like this, it's really pretty. This is like another really pure like Barbie pink. This is so pink. I feel like I'm like ready to be on the set of Legally Blonde. I really like this. I don't typically go for like a really, really bright pink, but if I were gonna go for one, I think this would be it. We've got a really bright coral. This is Rated R. The shade is so unique. It's like a bright, like coral. I am really into this. Last but not least, we have a really nice, pretty baby pink that's called safe word. I love the name on this one. All the names are actually really great, but this one's really good too. The shade is so bright. It's like so playful and so fun. Across the board, these lipsticks feel really, really nice on the lips. They feel great. They don't feel too tacky or if they were tacky, that'd be kind of like a break it kind of thing for me, but they don't feel tacky at all. They actually feel really nice on the lips. Which shades were your favorite? My favorite were definitely, I've, I've grabbed them here so I can tell you the names. I'm Bossy, um, the clear girl on top, of course, and also Peekaboo. This is like such a fantastic nude. Also the other nude here is like really, really cool too. Um, Hopeless Romantic, these are both really pretty. Like if you're a fan of nudes, I suggest grabbing these. These are really nice. Overall, the pigmentation on these is really nice. Like it's such an interesting concept, like a really, really shiny liquid lip. I think it's really cool. And the shade range I was really impressed by. I think it was really playful and sexy and fun. And it, you know, just different, like different shades that just aren't always available in like a nice shine, shiny lip. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below which shade is your absolute favorite from the bunch or your top two, whatever you choose. There's quite a few here, so you probably do have a couple favorites. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys, love you. I've been up watching people's Instagram stories with this messed up hair and the Trolls t-shirt for like two long now. Um, this filter is framing. But on that note, um, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It